everyone so in this video we're going to be looking at orm ocr so pdf documents have the potential to provide trillions of novel high quality tokens for training large language models so these documents come in different types with varying formats and visuals model visual layout that has a lot of challenges when attempting to extract and present the content for large language models. So OMS OCR is an open source Python toolkit for processing PDFs into clean and linearized plain text in natural reading order while preserving structured contents like sections, tables, lists, equations, and many more. All right, so the toolkit runs a fine-tuned 7B vision language model and it's trained on a sample of 260,000 pages from over 100,000 crawled PDFs with diverse properties like graphics, handwritten text, and poor quality scans. So the two case comes with an efficient inference setup using the SG Lang, which is embedded in the toolkit, and that can handle millions of documents at a scale. All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to set this up locally. So here is an, exam an example of their page. So I'm going to upload a PDF. So let's see how this is going to, let's say, process. So as you can see, it is extracting all the details from each page, right? You can see here, right? You can see here extracting the details from the images within the pages and page metadata as well. This is awesome, all right? So I'm gonna show you how you can set this up using the toolkit. So here is the hanging face, here is the information. So we're not gonna be doing this using this way. We are gonna be using this using the toolkit setup, which is really simple and has just few lines of code. So I'm gonna to go to, you are gonna be using um, Google Colab for this for this work. All right, so you need at least 20 um, GB of G GPU RAM and even better GPU like uh, 800 to make it run efficiently. So here you go to runtime and you go to change runtime using the 800 GPU. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to install all the dependencies needed for this. Run. So let's give it some time. So that is done. So next step is to look at all this little bit. So we're going to clone um, the repository, the OM OCR. So we're going to say get, and we clone that. So we're going to go to CD to OM OCR. And there you have it. We have all that we need. And we install the other dependencies to make it run. All right, so we do that by pip install. All right, so next we want to install the other packages, transformers, almost ER, PDF reports, PI PDF, and we need to install the SG Lang with the flash infer if you want to run inference on GPU. So we will run that and let's give it some time. All right, so the next thing we want to do is, so these are the only commands we need to run this. So we want to do Python, the almost here pipeline, and here's what we need, right? So this is where we are going to, um, the directory is going to be the directory that leads to your document or your PDFs, and the output is going to be stored in the local workspace, all right? So here we have the, documents here so we go to the text and we have it here and we are doing this pdf so we are going to be using doing the test pdf as an example so we're going to be using this and i have it open here so we're going to be extracting the information from this pdf file all right so let me go back 
and I'm going to run this command. I'm going to say run. All right. So what we're going to see now is you see the folder has been created. All right. So let's go in and see in results. So it will be stored here, right? So if you wanted to see it, you can download it here and you can look at the output, right? So I'm going to say download and it's in JSON. I'm going to use the notepad. All right, so you can see the output has been extracted here. Every details has been extracted here. All right, so we can compare this to what we have. And you can see okay yep you can see all the details here it's not bad right okay so what we want to do now is let's go back and so if you wanted to convert multiple PDFs you just do the same the same code the same command and PDFs and you can say start.pdf and that is it. It's going to run every every file within the every PDF files within the folder, right? So I'm not going to be running all the PDF here. Right? But let's see if you wanted to run it, you just say run and you give it some time, it is going to run all the PDF within the folder. All right, so let's see, we have our output. All right, so let me say download, open this up. All right, so we have our all right so we have our formation extracted so you can see we have some formulas here we have some text here and yeah all right so this is pretty awesome okay so let's go back and let's look at this one as well download is in json we have this one extracted as well. All right, so the next thing is, if we wanted to view the results, we can use this command, click out of here. All right, so I'm gonna say this, let's run it, and you can see the output coming out beautifully here everything is, has been extracted right everything has been extracted okay so the next thing is if we wanted to view side by side we can just do the right let me pull this here Right, so we can just do viewer.doma viewer. So Doma is an open source data set of three trillion tokens from a diverse mix of web content, academic publications, code books, and encyclopedic material. So we are using that features to view the output. So we are going to all right. So when we want to view the results side by side with the original PDFs, here so the output will be stored in the DOMA previews. So when you click here, you can see the output here. So let's look at some of the output, right? So let's look at download this one and let's view. So I was able to extract the uh, text within this. So we have hello, apple and bananas with this first. All right, so we did a pretty good job. So the second one is it was able to extract the abstract and all the information that is in there. 
it really did a great job. It's extracted the formulas. This is awesome, right? Okay, so let's look at the last one. I really like this output. So let's look at the other one, download. Let's view. All right, this is awesome. It's extracted the formulas, the mathematical inductions, and it extracted everything, right? This is awesome. All right, so you can check it out how this looks and try it out. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm gonna attach the link in the description. So this is how you can view side by side, extracting all the tables and the images. All right, this is awesome. All right, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. See you in the next one.